Hi everyone, and I want to show you how I draw Tinker, the husky, from our book. I start by drawing that rough circle, then I find the center, and it's really rough, and that's the object of using a pencil. And you can draw really, really light. As you can see, I'm spacing out his eyes by using my finger, and you can use whatever you want. You could use your pencil, you could use an actual ruler, but I'm deciding where to put his eyes at. And that, what I'm drawing right now, is where I'm going to put his nose. And I'm drawing him a big nose. I like to put a big nose on my characters, or big eyes, or big mouth. And you end up kind of finding out certain patterns you go with. And as you can see, you can kind of see a little S pattern there over one of the eyebrows. But the eyes are pretty simple to start. I'm just drawing boxes. Nobody's going to see the pencil. So you can be as rough as you want. They don't even have to be in the same spot when you're done. I just have them where I want to start. I kind of, like I said, did my little road map of the character. And as you can see, I'm deciding to kind of put in his mouth generally where I'm going to put it. And it's always just a rough start. And since he's smiling, obviously his cheekbones are going to be a little up, so... His eye's going to be a little up there in the corner. But I'm just roughly putting in where his head's going to be. I just kind of want to know where to put his ears, put his eyes, his nose, and his mouth. And there I'm just kind of putting in his eyes in. See, I kind of didn't do the eyes far over as I wanted, so I just kind of scratched it over with my pencil. It's no big deal. That's, that's the magic of using your pencil when you do these. You can erase, scratch, nobody knows. Only you. So there I'm just going to put in where I generally want to put his ears. Just a rough sketch. Kind of like a stick man. And where I want to put his eyebrows. They're going to be big and fluffy. And like cartoon characters are. And I just kind of go over areas where I might put his mouth adjusted a little bit. And there I'm putting in his, his the side of the mouth and his chin. And just kind of going over it. Sometimes you might use your pencil several times in one spot. You can scratch and scratch and scratch until you get that one spot that you want. And like huskies, they have that little pattern on their head and that little color of their hair. Some of them do. And that's what I was putting in there on the top. And now I'm just kind of playing around with his ears. As you can tell, that one ear looks a little bit too big. But Tinker how always had a flappy ear. So I kind of made that a part of his character. One of his ears is kind of always flapping over. I kind of thought it was neat. So we decided to keep it. He's He was a cool dog, and I just want to stick to that. And as you can tell, see, I'm going over and over that nose area, trying to get it right. And you know what? When I put the ink on there, I may even change it a little bit. I don't know. And there I put his tongue in there, just to kind of show that his mouth is open. And... I'm just lightly, lightly coloring in where his hair is going to be. The dark spots in his hair. And that's about it. And then I kind of forgot to put in his collar tag. And we just have a letter T on it for his name. And that's what I put in. Real rough. Real, real rough. Now I'm going to grab my ink. And I'm going to kind of put in the more of the lines I want to keep. And as you can tell, I'm kind of judging it as I go. Sometimes you might want to use a ruler to get these straighter because some of my lines aren't always straight and accurate But that's the magic of cartoons is they're not supposed to be straight and accurate. It's a cartoon and It doesn't have to be perfect and That's why I guess I'm good at it or I pretend to be good at it because I'm not perfect <laughs> But it's fun and I think everybody should try it and I Again, I'm trying to put his eyebrows in there somewhere now. And I'm I'm trying to be as perfect as I can. <laughs> my, and I think I'm getting close. I'm following my lines here. As I'm trying to fit his mouth in. And if I haven't forgotten to say, if you can like and subscribe to my new channel here. It's something new, something fun. I just I just thought it would be kind of fun to share. Kind of share how I create some characters, do some characters. I'll try to have the comment suggestion 
up and running so you can offer me suggestions. Maybe even tell me to stop doing this. Because <laughs> I don't blame you. But it's just fun. And I just kind of wanted to share with you. And maybe you can do it along with me or even come up with your own character. But yeah, if you could just like and subscribe to it. Share it. Who knows? It's just something fun to do. Especially nowadays. You just need a little bit of break. And... I just, and back to the picture here, I'm just kind of putting in his fur. He's not perfectly furry, and that's the way I like it. It's not totally perfect. And I go over those lines quite a bit. There I am, shaping over his nose. And I might start to shade a little bit. Yeah, there's those husky lines, those colors. Oh, almost forgot the collar again. I'm always forgetting that. And I just put a letter T on it. A big letter T for his name tag. And I thought that kind of showed up enough in the cartoons. I didn't want to put his whole name on there. Because you probably wouldn't be able to read it that far away. Well, there's his big T. I didn't color it in. But when I did it, I colored it in solid black. And I made his collar blue. My favorite color. <laughs> it's the only color there out there. And he's looking pretty good. And I, as you can see, I'm shading it. And it's now doing the eyeballs. And that's always a little tricky. Because you, it's hard to do a circle. And those aren't quite circles. But you get as close as you can. And that's why I did them in pencil first. Because I am going to make a mistake. And my circles will not be perfect. They just won't. But I try to get as close as I can. And I'm always keeping track of where everything is and where's my shading where's my lines and then I'm gonna shade in the hair just a little bit I don't want to color it in all black because it just it just wouldn't look right and I'm always going back and forth but I'm gonna first erase it to see sometimes you may miss something with all that pencil and all that scratches over there you may not see a certain part you missed or a certain line you forgot to connect so now I'm going to erase it, clear all those out of there, and there's a few things in there. I might want to shade the ears a little bit, maybe even shade the nose a little bit. See, I didn't connect those lines smooth enough, but they don't have to be. They just, they, it doesn't, it's, it's a cartoon character. He's going to be rough and fluffy, and I'm just adding a few, just a few accents here and there. They, it's just however you want to do it. Because Tinker's hair was black and the rest of his hair was white. So he was white and black and just black there on the top of his head. He had that little husky mask, which is always pretty neat. But I just wanted to add some little bit of an accent to his, his nose. And I do apologize for my hand being over part of the drawing because I'm left-handed. And my hand will cover the drawing as I'm doing it. So I'm going to draw, draw his name in today. I'm going to draw it in backwards. So it may not come out perfect. But I'm going to try it this way so you can see it better. And I'm going to take a pencil. And I'm going to just roughly sketch in where I'm going to put his name. And it's gonna. I'm going to start by just doing that. Super easy. Just nice and messy and sloppy. And it just lets me know where I'm going to put the letters. And since I'm doing it backwards today so you can see it. My big left hand doesn't cover it. I'll start with the R today. And that's how I will just create some big balloon letters. Bloom, bloom. <laughs> some big balloon letters over the letters there. And you can kind of see how I'm kind of tracing them a little bit. And just kind of adding little accents here and there. I'm not quite tracing them exactly. But it lets me know where I want to put them. Because my the letters may not be centered the way I want, maybe too big, and you can do whatever you want. And there I am tracing my N, and I apologize. I'm doing it backwards today. Usually I start with the T and work my way over to the R, but today I went backwards. Being left-handed, sometimes it just gets in the way. I'll work on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll work on adjusting that left-handed problem. And then you can just add some little effects. That's just a little 3D effect 
to make it look like it's coming from him just to make it a little fancier it doesn't take many letters or lines or any effects to do it it just kind of makes it look like it's popping out on you a little bit and then I'll have to uh, grab my eraser here my big white eraser once I finish adding some tiny tiny details they're just for flash they look like the letters are a little shiny that's all and then I gotta find my big eraser which is over there in the left corner there it is and scrub 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 and something should come out of there and as soon as I wipe all those crumbs off but there we go there's Tinker awesome I really appreciate everybody watching and I will be coming up with a new character next time See you guys later.